African American communities throughout the Jim Crow period when so little else was within their control. If you walk through, you can see it exhibits religious and artistic traditions, and it's an integral part of county and state history. People buried here helped build the community and the county, not just African American community. Some probably helped build Wilhoit's Mill yep, down sure at did. Horton Park. Some likely built bridges across the river. Some probably built the stone wall that used to be in front of Governor Horton's house. Yeah. Part of it's still visible on the parkland. And certainly many spent long days in the hot sun like today, cutting tobacco, pitching hay, and doing other labor. Others were teachers and preachers and craftsmen and soldiers, and you see evidence here of that. And I hope continued research will illuminate the lives of these now silent people so that their stories can be told and their contributions appreciated. My family's belonged to the uh, Marshall County Historical Society uh, for years. And since uh, Linda Potts could not attend, she asked me to um, emphasize to you that the society plans to continue to help research this site. And on behalf of the Association for Gravestone Studies, of which I'm a member, I'm donating this copy of a graveyard preservation primer to your group for reference as you continue to renovate the cemetery. And thank you for your dedication to rescuing this sacred ground and for sharing it with the rest of us. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. We appreciate that.